hi guys welcome back to my channel um you have probably already seen this look on my channel but today's video is slightly a bit different it's about how i cut my crease and also about i'm just going to talk about the products and the brush that i use to cut my crease because i feel like there's so many um videos out there about cut creases which is totally fine it's amazing do you know what i mean like it's good for everyone that likes to see that kind of stuff but i just wanted to make my video slightly different to kind of talk through how i use my brush and how i kind of curve out my angle if that makes sense but obviously as you may have seen in my previous cut creases i do put concealer on here and then look up and that kind of gives me the outline of where i need to cut my crease but today's video was about what type of concealers are best to use to cut your crease if you're going to map your shape out and what brush is really good so the first thing that i'm going to go through is the concealer that i use first of all i just wanted to say that i do use a liquid concealer however i do have a pomade a l'oreal pomade here but this as you know it's dry like literally it's just dry I don't know if you can see that that's the worst swatch ever but let me just do that again and as you can see that's just there it is it's not going to drip or anything like that it's just a dry concealer so i always do think um if you want to map out the shape do go in with a liquid concealer simply because when you look up the dry one's not going to really like if i just went like this now like it's just a tiny bit there you can see like it's not going to really carve out the shape if that makes sense but um the concealer that i use today well to cut out my creases sorry not today let me just and now i won't be able to find it because i'm just very clumsy like that everyone i just thought to let you know oh here it is this is a concealer that i use this one in the shade ivory and as you can see it comes in a tube like this so all i do is just unwind it and let me see if i can go in here i'm so scared that if i go in here that i might actually go into the lens but this is how it is it looks like that it's a brush and the concealer comes out there let me just see if i can pop some out there we are so as you can see it's liquid consistency there and as you can see it's really easy and it's just it's just the right kind of amount if that makes sense so I always use this um sometimes i do use another one let me just go back and focus there we are. and the brush that i use and i'll always use this um is none other than the detailer brush by Vio techniques and let's go back in. It's a bit dirty everyone but that's what it looks like and it's very thin and it's very flat but that's what I like about it so basically I just pick up some concealer if it's on my eye and I just basically concealer like I just draw I let the brush do the work and I just like like so Draw, just like that and then I rub the concealer in but basically what I do is I keep my 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 little finger there and then I just kind of let it rotate as if to say you got a compass just like that and it just builds the right arch and then you can colour the rest in and sometimes I do get excess, but what I do is I just rub excess off on my finger 
like so and then the brush just stays dense now i f i feel that this brush is just one of the perfect brushes that i've ever had because it just it's so easy to cut the crease it's so nice and flat like literally it everything just glides on with this um i do have other brushes that i am going to try like i know i have this spectrum one which is quite similar like that as you can see it's it's flat but not as flat as that one and it's the a 16. now let's see the difference between thickness that's like that like do you see the difference guys this one's longer and thinner and this is it's not as long but it's a bit fat and do you see the pointiness like there obviously I feel like after using this this one would eventually flat flatten out but um, obviously I haven't used it so I can't really say I also do have some Morphe brushes that I have purchased I think I've purchased about four that are singles and one that is part of a set um, I'm really excited to try that because I've never ever ever heard any bad reviews about Morphe um, but obviously I do want to put them to the test for myself but um, I just haven't had a chance but I will do so real quick um, I just want to say to everyone um, thank you for watching my video and I really hope you enjoyed this video please do give it a like and do subscribe to my channel like subscribe comment and share basically and i'll love you forever i really hope you enjoy this video please do stay tuned for my next one and do leave any thoughts and opinions down below and i will respond back to you and i will see you next time bye everyone